Peter, an impressive display. Yes, I mean, first and foremost, three points. Absolutely delighted with the boys today. Really, honestly, knocking that pad in. Really, really working hard for each other. And that's what it takes to win points in this league. It's tough. It's tough and they know that, but they're willing to do it and they keep going and keep going and honestly, delighted with the guys. And two lovely goals. I mean, that first half was almost perfect. I didn't think we started the first few minutes particularly well. Um, and then we kicked on from that. We played a couple of lovely balls down the side and we ended up getting joy from that uh, with those playing three at the back. So once we once we found that kind of negative on their side, played to it brilliantly, get ourselves ahead 2-0 and I thought to half time we were pretty comfortable with other chances in the game as well. Like yeah. Josh has a chance and, and there's a couple of others as well. So um, overall, great, delighted with it. It's one of these at half time, it, 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 you get hard to please because you're just thinking if Josh had scored that, the game was over effectively, but you know, two nothing up, hadn't been pressed, couldn't complain. I think in football it's never over till the final whistle goes, and that's the way we'll always play, absolutely. Um, but yes, we need to be more ruthless in front of the goal, but again, um, getting the three points is, is the main thing. We've done that after 97, 8, 9 minutes, whatever it was, so that's the main thing. Yeah, and we, on the, in the dugout, which I heart in your mind when Cammy Williamson went down I don't know, midway through early in the first half actually. Early, yeah, Cammy's been having a bit of problem with his ankle, um, but he's a warrior, he'll stick in there, which he has done, and he's, he's battled through it. We've now got a little bit of time, um, no game next weekend, so we can kind of get these injured players, hopefully they'll start filtering back and look after the ones who've got bumps and bruises as well. Yeah. So you get at half team, 2-0 up, mm -hmm. been well on top really, you know that Peter Head in the dressing room are saying, let's go for the second half, so what are you saying in your dressing room to counteract that? More of the same. I think we needed more of the same. Um, I did think we dropped off a little bit towards it, but again, we were dangerous on that counter attack. Really dangerous again down the sides. Jamesy on one side, and um, Josh on the other. Also, when Ollie Derring coming on, a little bit more energy. Um, but half time is more of the same. You know, we're two nothing up. We're creating chances. Keep doing, being relentless with it. Yeah. Um, as I say, levels potentially dropped a little bit, a little bit. When you're working that hard, it's difficult to maintain. But it's something we're striving for, and we'll keep pushing the boys. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it at half time. And without getting drawn into too much, what happened with the referee at the side? But you obviously felt that was a penalty shoot. To be fair, it's a, I think if he sees it back, and again, from my vision, it's a penalty. The guy's all he's just about to pull the trigger. Yeah. I think it was two hands on the back, to be perfectly honest. Um, the communication between linesman and referee was it was broken today for some, some reason, um, which I didn't think helped us in a couple of situations. Um, but I suppose the least said about the red card. I didn't. The manager's never spoke to the referee for the full game. Yeah. Makes one comment about it, thinking it's a penalty. We're claiming for a penalty, as every manager on the planet would do. Yeah. Uh, and the referee sends him off. So, from my point of view, it's harsh. Um, it's harsh, but we'll move forward and we'll we'll deal with it. And ironically, Peter had got a, a goal late on, which was was gifted to them. Just a moment's lapse. Absolutely, moment's lapse. I think we don't even need to speak to Craig about that. We'll move on quickly from it. Um, he's been great since we've came in, well, since I've been here anyway, and I'm sure the manager will, will double that up. Um, so move on quickly, and then we'll kick on for, for Steny in a couple of weeks. I was going to say, what, do you do anything the next Saturday, or is it? Oh, yeah, we'll train. Yeah. yeah, we'll train. Um, I think it's important we keep going. You don't rest when you're at the top, you keep pushing. You keep pushing, that's exactly what we'll keep doing. And actually, just mentioned there at the top, we're you know, three way tie very early. Yeah, in the I think it's, it's a good start. I think it's important we understand that it's five games in. Yeah, you know, we're not getting carried away, we know what's expected. We just need to keep going. It's a cliche game by game, working as hard as we can through it a week to prepare for it, and that's exactly what we'll do. You mentioned about the bumps and bruises, obviously, having to be caught gives you a bit of time for hopefully them to get overcome yeah. those. Equally, you're in such good form. Does the, the week break? Does it come out a good or a bad thing? I think I, I don't mind it either way, to be perfectly honest. It gives us a chance to work with the players that little bit more, um, give them a little bit more detail. As I said, we'll be training on the Saturday as well. We'll be doing work there for fitness-wise, keep us topping up and then prepare for the week after. But um, I don't think it's either or, to be perfectly honest. Equally, going into, as I say, having a break, I don't imagine you want to go into on the back of a poor result or a poor performance and you've got kind of two weeks to stew on it. Good to get three points in it and again, a good performance. Ah, yeah, listen, the boys are buzzing in there, yeah. rightly so. See, when you work hard, as hard as they are, you, you deserve to be in there with a smile on your face and be proud of your efforts and then that's exactly what they should be after today.